boxes and on. Facing the pressure. While the babies are not real in this simulation, the equipment and life-saving techniques are. This is what we call a simulation lab. Simulation allows us to practice um, these intense uh, moments of resuscitation of a baby. We're going up to 50% right now. It allows us to practice different scenarios of what would actually happen in a neonatal intensive care unit or when a baby is delivered in a labor and delivery room. From noises to heart rate to breathing, even movements, the dolls are designed to respond to medical techniques, giving health experts a real feel for what to do in an emergency. It's very important because every person that provides care to a baby um, in any hospital has to be certified by the neonatal resuscitation program. While the program is only required every two years, Lee Health encourages health experts to practice their training every six months. You feel much more confident after practicing with your team. Um, I think the team works more smoothly together. We take it very seriously, the care of our newborns and that we practice regularly. Studies show about 10% of all deliveries require some type of resuscitative efforts, a training that can make a big difference to the smallest life. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton. Can we document the time we gave the epi